Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some stuff to unbox. This one's a package from JD over at um, JD for EDC. Good dude, good channel, go check it out. I got my Devo knives buzz on me to unbox this. Great knife. I always forget how good this fucking knife is until I pick it up again. The hollow grind on this is just silly. Um, I had a really cool experience today. Um, I was checking the DMs through the Devo page and we got tagged by, or somebody, uh, I forget if it was a tag or a reply, but it was like a celebrity that I knew. I don't want to blow him up or anything because I'm not sure if, you know, he wants people actively, you know, anyway. Um, but I was like, dude, what's up? Like, thank you for, you know, checking out the diva. Like he was following us and I'm like, sweet. Um, and I was like, I love your work, dude. You know, big fan of X, Y, whatever. And, um, and I was like, dude, let me send you, like, I'll, I'll send you some Devo stuff. <laughs> you know? I was like, no strings, dude. I, I Like, I'm just like, damn, this is cool. Um, so Colin and I sent sent him some stuff to check out. Uh, so I'm curious to see what he thinks. But one of them was a buzz. One of them was a buzz. So um, anyway, that reminded me. And it was just a very awesome experience for me. Um and he also was like, yeah, I watch your channel. I was like, what? Then he named a couple other channels, and I was like, damn, dude. Like, I got included with those channels? <laughs> I don't know. It was sweet. So, anyway, got the bus. I think these are just knives coming back. I'm not sure yet. Gummy bears. Sometimes he throws in gummy bears, which is cool. Um... Maybe I'll save those for the kiddo on the plane tomorrow. We're flying out to Montana tomorrow. Right, let's see what's in here. Just some stickers. Oh, okay. It's, um, yeah, it's a couple knives coming back from uh, Review. So I, you guys know I run a pass around. And uh, this is the Vosteed... Uh, I'll remember, don't you worry. I'll remember. I'll remember. What is your name, sir? It's probably right on the knife. Labrador. Or as my wife would say, Laborador. Um Yeah, this knife is uh interesting for sure. So anyway, that and then there was the uh Valkyrie, I think. Yeah. The Valkyrie uh, button lock from Boss. Oh, did you hear that? Holy shit. That sounds amazing. All right. Anyway, uh, those are coming back because I passed them around. So I will, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Give them away or um, sell them or I don't know what I'll do. We'll figure it out. And then, I have this big-ass package. It was in my P.O. box, and I have no idea what it is. I have an inkling. I think it might be from Obi. Yes. Okay. So this, I don't know when this releases or anything, so I don't know when I can talk about it. But I guess when you see this video, I'll be able to talk about it. And I think it's like a hatchet or tomahawk, which I have one in here I can compare it to. So it's the Odical Multifunctional Hatchet, Odical AI, I think they're calling it, or A1. I have never heard of this steel, but it says 50 CR 15 MOV. So not 13, or not 8, 50. Not 8, 50. CR15 MOV head, stainless steel. Uh, handle is G10 and it weighs 25 ounces, which is good. That's what I loved about my Hobe. I still have it, the Hoback uh, PS2 X. I love that thing. I'm trying to put my stuff away here so that I can pull out the other one. 
had my flashlight out. I was doing a unboxing of a flashlight, so let's give me a second. Flash, not flesh. Get out of here. Stop being dirty. You daddy. The Oticle Hatchet multi Multifunctional Hatchet. They asked me if I was interested, and I was like, I don't, yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's a little scary there. So, it's a crowbar. <laughs> Oh man, that's kind of obnoxious to have a crowbar down here. I just worry about it being like it could, you know, you swing past yourself, you get yourself with that. But you got a nail puller here, I guess. And then they went with the hammer on the back. That's cool. I did want one with a hammer on the back. You have a um, tech lock system on the back or tech lock like system on the back. Um, should just open, right? Where's the, uh... that pops under and then it should release. Ah, pinch. You just pinch the sides. Anyway, there's that. There's a couple of straps there, which is nice. I like that get those out of the way and then comes out that way so they screwed on the hammer so you could take that off I guess and go hammerless but there you go so you have a uh, axe head right here sure it feels sharp um, it's not like hollow or anything. It's just, uh, it comes down to a straight edge. You have a hole there in case you want to put your dick through and, you know, fuck your ex if you can. Uh, um, and then you have the, uh, hammer on the back. So you could put the case, I mean, you could put the, uh, sheath on, which I'm trying to figure out the best way here. Oh, that's easy. Just slides in. Sometimes you gotta make sure the head's in. So she said... And now I would do it like this. If I was gonna use the hammer, I would strap this bitch up and then turn it around and now use the hammer just so I'm not risking hitting myself in the eye or something. Um, I don't know how I feel about the tech lock. I mean, it's interesting, but I feel like I'd rather just have a dangler sheath thing here coming off. Uh, but they did leave a slit here so you could run something through, hang it, and do that. So let me show you a comparison. Keep this in the truck. This is my custom uh, Tomahawk. This is a um, Ryan Pearson of Pearson Custom Knives Tomahawk. Um, I actually would sell this just because it just sits in my truck. Um, and I have that Hoback one that I think is a little more my speed. This is a little heavier than I want. Um, but it has a nice leather um, cover on it. And then here's the axe or the tomahawk. It's basically an axe because it's fucking heavy, man. It's like a hatchet. It's it's really, when I thought tomahawk, I thought something I could easily chuck, you know, 20 ounces, something like that. This has got to be, you know, four, four double. I mean, it's very heavy. Um, but it has a nice choil. You can choke up into this choil and then use the head like this. Um, this is 01 tool steel. And this guy has the spike. So this is the zombie killing. Um, tomahawk that i keep in my truck so i have different ones now you know um the ps2 is probably my go-to zombie killer because it's so lightweight i can i can get i think it's rated at um three zombies per second or um you know 90 zombies per minute something like that ow um 90 zombies per minute you could take out with the ps2 and this guy's more like 45, you know what I mean? It's just heavier. You got to wield it a little differently. Um, so 45 to 90, 
you know this guy i'm guessing is is closer somewhere in the middle closer to like 75 zombies per minute because it's got that weight right um and because you have the hammer on the back for your hammer blows you don't have to like rip it out of the zombie brain you can just whack and run you know what i mean so you just play whack-a-mole so 75 easy probably uh and then you technically do have a spike down here if you wanted to you know um all right i'll shut up <laughs> sorry but here's a comparison uh, let me see if i can get this out of the sheath again it's probably dangerous for me to have two axes just unsheathed near me because i'm a maniac but uh i love this sheath though they did a great job with that you just kind of ride the the head of the axe in and then that hammer just kind of seats everything and then you're in and you strap it it doesn't need to be super structural because you have the um you have the straps to keep it locked in right i like that um quite a bit actually Ugh, sorry so it's smaller it's a smaller size axe tomahawk whatever you want to call it i like the black wash coating so you only have to worry about rusting on the actual bevel there on the um pearson one here i've had to clean the rust off a couple times uh it's kind of patinaed because it's a tool steel um but the last time i did it was about a year ago and it's it's held up pretty well since then so maybe I just needed to put that coating of uh, Tsubaki oil or whatever I put on it. Um, but this is a very fine hatchet slash axe. Came with a cool bead and everything. Uh, I'm mostly joking, but this is a heavier duty uh, tool than this. Um, and I need this because I'm, I'm a weak pussy. Uh, my arms are not, you know, super strong. So I couldn't swing this very long, you know. Where this, I could swing this probably all day and not have to worry about too much. Um, I also like the kind of sharp pointed beards. That's how um, the Hoback one is as well. This is more of a um, ax face. And this is more of a tomahawk face in my opinion when you look at them. Uh, both are fantastic though. Here's a size comparison. You can see this one's a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so this is cool um you can take that uh hammer head off so i don't know what that would buy you i guess it would buy you a little weight relief and then you could probably throw it better um but you have a g10 handle very comfortable this thing's awesome i gotta say if you're a tomahawk axe guy this is pretty cool i could have done without this um i think it would have been better served if this came off you know maybe they had a way to unscrew this too um and then the handle just ended here i think it would be lighter it would be more wieldable but it's not like bad i just worry about like poking myself when i'm swinging it um now that i have a different schedule at work where i am it looks like i'm gonna have a day off every week um i planned to maybe take a trip somewhere in the woods or something and actually film some footage of me with the axes, tomahawk, swords, shit like that. And maybe just, you know, hit some trees, throw them, just see what the fuck I can do. You know what I mean? Um, use them a little bit, which is hard for me to do at my house because I have a little, you know, I live in a row home. My yard's not very big. I don't have many excuses to whip out a tomahawk and chuck it at my brand new fence, you know? Uh, so yeah very cool this is the o knife otical multi-tool uh tomahawk otical ai sorry from o knife and uh yeah if this is your type of deal it's well made feels good and i bet you it's like you know what do you think this costs 50 bucks 50 bucks um who knows could be 100 but i don't think it's gonna be much more than that and uh it's very cool and I can see this being very useful. It also has a choil up here. So you can choke up and really get in there and do some fine details. So if you want to use this around the campfire instead of um, a fixed blade, you know, you just want to carry this instead, you could, right? So it would be cool if they sold attachments. 
So like if you could take this off and put a spike on instead um, and they sold the spike separately, that'd be pretty fucking cool, wouldn't it? Um, but we'll see if they do that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Big shout out to obuy.com. Use my code LC10 over at obuy. I need to link that down below. I keep forgetting to put it in my descriptions, but it's different than O knife uh, or O light. O light, my code is lefty EDC. O buy, my code is LC10. So um, yeah, you got to use the different code over there. But there you go. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.